Squid Game is Netflix's latest offering in the K-drama segment, and it's also one of the strongest entries to grace the horror game show film genre. The show combines the politics of Hunger Games with the gore and tension of Battle Royale. To that end, it's a riveting experience that imparts plenty of lessons as well as thrills. In short, it's a must-watch. Like plenty of other horror game show films and series, however, it's full of tropes and elements that don't quite add up. If the series' plot, story, and logic are to be represented by a dairy product, it would be Swiss cheese. It has lots of holes there, but it's still a delicacy, so that's excused. But to add to one's post-viewing ruminations, it's time to ponder on some of the show's rational missteps. What became of one of the VIPs? During the fourth game, one of the old and lecherous VIPs propositioned undercover officer Huang Jun-ho for coitus. The officer obliged, but knocked out and harmed the VIP in order to wiggle out of the situation, revealing his identity and blowing his cover. Ask off. I want to see. Afterward, the VIP was missing in action for the sixth game viewing. Didn't the other VIPs ask questions regarding this security breach? Moreover, what became of the said VIP? Surely someone striking a rich funder for the game show would have brought up a scandal and safety concerns. That event wasn't exactly a minor disturbance. If you can satisfy me in five minutes. Sang Woo's number 218, mother just accepts a North Korean orphan after the game, number 456 did right by his friend's last wishes and took care of their families. Well, took care is a generous word since he merely dropped off number 067's orphan brother to number 218's mother, as if that's enough as a consolation for her missing and dead son. Moreover, Sangwoon or number 218's mother would have asked more questions or will at least interview the beau. Finding out that he's from North Korea probably won't bode well for the kid. It's also implausible to believe that a grieving mother would just accept another responsibility since she's likely still busy worrying about her son's crimes and whereabouts. How did a game winner end up becoming a host? Another thing that's hard to digest or wasn't explained believably was the host. The show revealed him to be Officer Huang Jun Ho's brother which is way too convenient. That's because the host was also a former contestant in the game show. That in itself is a security concern. In fact, he even somewhat hesitated in shooting his own brother and also probably didn't kill him out of emotions and presumably so that there's plenty more material for a second season. In any case, that kind of plot convenience is a little difficult to swallow, especially since the game's facilitators are still monitoring the winners after they won. The game's security is too lax, there's also the topic of the game show site's security. For a huge and highly funded operation, the security was rather lenient or clumsy. They anticipated returning players, meaning they could have taken more steps in ensuring they didn't bring tools or weapons. A metal detector should have been standard procedure there seeing as knives and guns are easily smuggled. Moreover, the organ-selling underground operation should have turned more heads than what the film implied. 